Hello again, everybody. It's time for more Wonder Boy and Monster World. Kind of good night's rest to be in here with this friendly little dragon. We're gonna see what's in this little town. Oh, more dragons. Oh, the Elder Dragon. I think he's the one the, uh... Uh, Poseidon told us about. Or the, no, the Sphinx. Last to come. I knew you would appear before too long. Now you must search for the old axe hidden in Ice World. To get to Ice World, you will need the special bracelet. And he narrates the action somehow. And now he gave us a bracelet, which I'm not sure if it shows up now. Yep, it's in the list. I believe everything in here is closed until later on. Except for the inn and the uh, Elder Dragon. Yep. Well, oh. now we have to find this uh, ice world. And we have a new shortcut. Straight back to castle. We're going to take a path that we have skipped, uh, I believe, three times previously. I'm back through here. It's kind of strange coming in from the left side. down here until this point. So there is a chest that you can get if you're really good at aim aiming your jumps on that one. Usually you need to be running faster than what's available. And despite their large health pools now we can kill these giant skeletons in three hits. And they still drop minimal amounts of gold. All these breakable blocks. And then full heart. This chest is extremely difficult to get without a later pair of boots because you have to time your jump absolutely perfectly like on the very last possible pixel to be able to get it. I don't think I can do it. I don't want to waste too much time here. Here's Ice World. Nice. And it's the only time we get to use the bracelet. And now for some of the most annoying enemies in the entire game. These giant penguins. So these things might be the source of my hatred for penguins. I just plain don't like them. decent chance of dropping a heart instead of money. So if you're trying to grind for stuff here, because it is a decent place, it's really annoying when they just don't drop anything. And they've got a quirk like the uh, skeleton warriors inside Poseidon's temple. Every time you hit them, they'll jump. It's a good thing we kill them in two hits.
so many penguins. At least it's a very pretty area. Oh, there's that castle in the background. It's a nice little touch, too. That castle is actually where we're headed. And you don't see it on the uh, rooms previous to this one. And there you go. The Ice Town. Ceramic boots. Oh, 4,000. Holy water, new potion. And we'll take that while we can. I like the little mage people here. Let's create a checkpoint here. Alright. Well, uh, cut a little bit to do a little bit of grinding. Uh, got a new shield that was available in the store here. Uh, there's also some armor and a spear. The best spear there is, actually, but it costs 10,000 to get. Uh, the armor, I think, is 3,500, and it's, it's okay. But here we go. Huh. Looks like word of Xion's exploits has spread. And we, now we get our newest companion, Shabo, who is the most awesome character in this game. Who doesn't like a little reaper flying around? He kind of looks like Vivi with a scythe. And unlike the last two, Shabo will actually attack and do damage. He is immensely useful. I think this area has spawned my love of ice-themed dungeons and stuff in a lot of games. I, I really like ice physics, which is really weird because you're usually just the bane of any gamer because they alter everything, but I think that's why I like it. And once you know how to use it, You can actually use the changes in momentum and everything to your advantage. Really don't like these yetis though. Throwing an ice box at you. Shabo will actually go ahead and attack the enemy. Thank you, Shadow. Come up here. I think it's only the second time we hear that door opening sound effect. This pathway for us. And what's strange is this is actually an extremely short dungeon. We're already over halfway through it. This is the worst part of it, because there are so many enemies. But if you come in here with that uh, really good spear, if you time your speed right, 
you can just do the windmill by holding up and attacking and take them all out as you travel. There's little blue furred things. A little bit of lag there. Alright, I gotta run as fast as you can to make these jumps. Slide a little bit, get up the ladder. And you can go into the tower. I try and trick you with the little springy platforms. Okay. That was no good. Something's causing a lot of lag, and I don't know what it is. I don't know. Well, that was rather strange. Um, um, I opened the chest, and I got the, uh, the pygmy boots. So we now have all four pieces of the armor. Can't equip any of it. I'm gonna come back out. Now the thing here too is every time you enter and exit a room. Oh, the big bags. Gotta love those. But every time you enter and exit a room, uh, all the enemies respawn. And now we get a mini boss. A giant bear. I think it's the first time we see the green health bar, too. He drops a big bag. Come up here to a chest. We get our blue gem. There we go. right onto his head. Maybe the only problem with uh, Shabo attacking everything is that there's no way to choose which enemy he attacks. He'll just attack at randomly um, anything that's just on the screen whenever he decides to actually attack. Springy platform. Slowly slide in here. We Poke him in the feet. And uh, the blue hmm, got a heart. Now you see how the hearts overlap up there. It's kind of odd, but it works. But the uh, the blue yetis in the towers, when you kill them, they will always give you a, a full heart. Oh. So this is actually one of the pl best places in the game at this point to grind. Like if you want that 10,000 gold spear. You come in here, and whenever you end up being low on health, because the ice makes it hard to not get hit. Like that. Um, and occasionally you get the giant bags from the yetis. Makes it a very good grinding spot. I gotta get some momentum to make this jump again. Oop, oh, and fail. Try that again. So I'm gonna get the ladder. I do think if you are going too fast, you cannot grab the ladders. Oh, don't do this to me. the store. Let me get another mini boss. Giant one of the blue things. A lot easier than the bear. Oh, he gave a full heart. Oh, get this. And we get our yellow gem. Or gold gem. And now we are essentially done with this dungeon. Really doesn't take all that long. Which is a shame, because it is my favorite area, just because of Shabo. Although it does have one of the most ridiculous looking bosses. 
which we will get to shortly. Insert the gold gem. Now, it's strange with the text how when you pick them up, there's a hyphen between the color and gem. But when you insert them, there isn't. Let me insert both the gems. Creates this door. Oh. Full health. Uh, I won't need it, but I'm going to equip the holy water anyway. Right down we go to the boss. I I really do enjoy this boss fight. The Native American bomb throwing snowman, the ice bomber. Also, he flies. You have to hit him in the head. You can't hurt him by hitting his body. He spits out the little... Like I said, he is one of the most ridiculous bosses. Oh, I didn't want to use the holy water. Him. He drops a lot of money for us. And we get the old axe. This is a shame Shabo couldn't come into the boss fight with us. And we are back. We talk to the one that gave us Shabo. We gotta go back to Begonia, the Dragon Village. Before we go, I wanna get these boots now. Yep. So the ceramic boots, I believe, have. It says zero speed, but I th believe they have the second highest walking speed. And we can get this armor. The knight armor has the third highest defense. Also, the shield, I think, is the third best shield. Uh oh. No, oh, not. Yeah, how much was the holy water? 200. And that was all the money we got from the ice bomber. But before we head back to Begonia, we're gonna hit up the end. Yep, not enough. So we are officially broken. Okay, back inside the. Uh... To get any virus. All right, back inside the uh, dungeon. So remember, with the uh, Oasis boots we had, this jump was almost, almost impossible. But now, if you put those ceramic boots on, it's extremely easy. Let me get an upgrade to Quake. Alright, well, I'll meet everybody back at Begonia, but until then, this is Last Expellion, and I'll see you later.